Now in this video, I'm going to take you through the installation and activation process for Compliance Suite FC and the Karma Audio AU plugins for Final Cut. The first thing we need to do is to download the latest installer for Compliance Suite and Karma Audio. Now if you go to our website, www.iheight.com, then at the moment it's very easy because on the front page you'll see the link to the, the Karma Audio pages. You can click straight through that and that will take you to the page with the download link. Now if you're watching this uh, at some point in the future when that front page has changed, all you have to do is come up to this products section up here, type in either compliance or karma, I'll just do karma for sake of argument, do a search for that and the first things that will list in the table will give you either the link to the page for compliance suite or the link to the page for the karma audio. Now both pages contain a download link for the installer and the installer includes the installer for both Compliance Suite and the Karma Audio tools. So we'll just follow through one of those links. I'm just going to download this. This will take a few minutes to download. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll skip through this on the video and come back once it's downloaded. Okay, so now the file's downloaded. I'll just get rid of these two screens. We don't need any more. So here's what's happened. We've got... Uh, a disk image that we've just downloaded is unzipped and opened. Inside that disk image we've got three sections. The first piece here gives us the installation manual. That will give you information on everything you need to do in terms of installing. And basically this is pretty much containing the same information as I'm talking through now. Uh, albeit in written form that you can refer back to. Step two is the actual installer itself. I'm just going to run that now. And it's a pretty standard uh, OSX install. So we have some... Uh, release notes that we can check through, an agreement that we have to agree to. And on this page, Custom Install, we can select which items we want to install. By default, the licensing services which uh, allow it to use both the trial license and also hardware keys are installed. You can choose to install, by default, both plugins, or you can turn either of those off if you're only interested in one of the particular plugin elements. And optionally, you can install an administrator manual which will tell you how to uh, manipulate the presets that are available in Compliance Suite, both for the Legalizer and the Safe Area Generator. I'm just going to leave this with a standard install. And I can't change the install installation even if I wanted to. This will now install. I just need an administrator password. Off goes the install. Shouldn't take too long. OK, so that's my install done. Now at this point, if you've purchased a hardware license, you're ready to go. You can simply plug the USB hardware key into the machine that you're trying to use the plugins on and any licenses that you've purchased will be available for those plugins. Now these keys come in two flavors. The red keys are network keys, so you can plug those onto any machine on the network that's had the network component of the, of the plugins installed and that will serve licenses across the network as and when they're needed. The green keys, by contrast, are single seat local hardware keys. So you need to plug these into the machine that's using the license. Now, the nice thing about those is you can take them with you. So for example, if you're working on a, a Mac Pro in the office and then you're out in the field, you just take your key with you, plug it into your Mac Pro and away you go. Now if you don't have a hardware key, you're either trying to use the trial license or a software license, you'll need to go through the activation process. The Compliance Suite activation utility that's part of the uh, disk image that you've downloaded will allow you to uh, enable the tools with a software key. So that can either be uh, the 15 day trial license that ships as part of the install or if you've uh, purchased a short term software license. So this is just asking for some registration information so I'm just going to feed that in. Any real bits we ideally like, a name, company, and email address. Uh, the OS and the number of seats is just to give us some feedback on the install base that we're getting. Come through to next, and you can see we can choose either a trial version or a full version. If I activate the trial li license, that will just give me a 15 day license. It's installable uh, once per machine. Once that runs out, you can't reinstall the trial version on that machine. If I come into it, I'll just have a look at the full version first. Basically, that's asking you for a product key. So if, you're, if you've purchased a short-term software license, we will send you a 19-character 
uh, product key which you can enter in here hit activate full it will then talk to our activation servers and it will install a, a full license for you for that timed period just kick back to the trial version I'm going to go through the process of activating the trial on this machine actually this will happen faster on my machine than it will on yours because as you'll see it will detect that the trial license has already been installed on this machine and it will carry on rather than having to actually go through the process of installing the license properly so normally on your machine you'll it takes slightly longer than this but basically this is what you're looking for the progress bar to fill up and a thing here that says the hasp sl key was activated successfully now once you've got that license installed you should be able to bring up the uh, hasp control center just by coming into safari and pointing it to uh, http colon slash slash uh, localhost colon 1947 which is the port number and that will bring up the admin control center uh, assuming that your hasp drivers have been installed correctly you can come into keys and you'll see already on my machine this is the only local key that we're running at the moment uh, which is a hasp sl so this is a local key on that key I've got a couple of products and actually I have several products of mine because it's a development system uh, but you'll see that actually all of these are when I go into features these are actually expired on my machine because they've been running for a while when you do this on your machine you'll get uh, you won't get expired you'll get them as being not started they won't actually start running the 15 days until you fire up Final Cut having installed the plugins and activated them as soon as you run up Final Cut even if you're not using the filters that will start the license ticking and you'll get 15 days and when the license expires they'll all list in the same as here the list is expired and at that point you won't be able to use the tools on that machine again you'll either need to talk to us about getting a hardware license or potentially a, a software license for a short term now so having installed the tools activated them I should now be able to go into Final Cut and I'll see my tools installed and ready to go So if we come over into the effects tab, you'll see uh, some looking here under video filters within iHeight Compliance Suite FC. I have my legalized filter ready to go. It won't actually work on my machine because my license is expired. Uh, if I come down under video generators, you'll see that I've also got another iHeight Compliance Suite that contains the SafeEyes FC and the SafeEyes FC measurement tools. And then under audio filters down in here again iHeight Compliance Suite FC, I have my Karma Audio AU filter. So all the fields are installed, the license is installed, and I've, I've got a working system.